Hey everyone, coming to you live from DreamEsper.com. This tutorial is going to be for those out there that don't know how to set up their ROMs within their emulators or set up the, the emulators and settings to get their games working properly. So this is a tutorial that I'm going to start and I guess I'm going to go for the easy stuff, the stuff that everyone is after like NES, Super NES, um, what else? N64, PS1, or not recast. I've already done a video on recast, and I've done some videos on Dolphin already, the GameCube emulation. I'm gonna start with like, you know, again the easy things that, that people know from experience: the retro stuff, Super NES, NES. Uh, oh, okay, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and Drastic. I'll leave it to those four or five. So. What you gotta do with the games first, I recommend not to use the internal uh, storage. It only has 32 gigabytes. And mainly, you wanna keep that for clean ROM, the OS itself, and maybe other little files that you wanna keep on internal storage. I recommend to keep all your ROMs and games and things like that on your external storage. Again, external storage for this device only is micro SD card. I have a 128 gigabyte SD card from SanDisk, and I think that that's more than sufficient for this type of device. You get a Win or a Win 2, something like that, that's super high end, get yourself a 512 or a 400 gigabyte SD card. That's my recommendation. But for the XD Plus that I'm doing this tutorial on, I think a 64 gigabyte or even a 128 gigabyte SD card of SanDisk. I recommend SanDisk to start with, so that you can load a lot of PS1 games, N64, GameCube, you know, Dreamcast that take up a lot of space, Sega Saturn, all those all those systems that originally used CDs. So, anyways, here we go. If you want to start with something simple, you want to get the NES.in by Robert Broglia off the Google Play Store. So the way to do it is you go to Google Play Store and you look for NES, something simple. NES or NES emulator. And you'll find it right away. Well, maybe not. There's a Broglia for Super NES. But the NES one, it seems like you got to specify the author. So NES and then type Broglia. I'm recommending this emulator for NES because it's stable and it's been around for a very long time. Look at that. 4.6 stars. That's unheard of on Google Play Store for an emulator. Super NES 90X EX Plus Broglia. 4.4, 4.5 right there. Let's start with this one. So you click it. You click install. It installs. And once it installs, you hit the back button and boom, there it is on your XD Plus in the game section. I'm using, oh yeah, the launcher is not, it's optional, but I recommend to get a good launcher like Smart Pro or HAL or ARC or one or one or the other types that have high star ratings above 4.2, 4.3 stars that are stable, that don't have ads, that you don't, that you don't gotta pay for. I'm using Smart Pro Launcher 3. I'm old school. I like to keep it simple. So once you have the emulator, let's go into NES.MU. Now, uh, you want to go to a section of the emulator. This is the main emulator when you first see it, okay? Options, you really don't need to do anything. If you're already on Clean ROM, you go to Settings, and you go to Clean ROM, Settings, and you choose your gamepad mode, PS3 or Xbox, however you like it. I'm a PlayStation guy, I'm more Sony, I like PS3, okay? Set your game mode on so that you don't have to mess around with the settings and things like that regarding how to set up your, your controller and your button and your mapping. You don't got to do anything. If you have clean ROM 2.0 point whatever, 2, not 1 clean ROM. Clean ROM 2 above, 2.x and above, that should be sufficient. So you go to load game. And then... This is where you're going to get to. Where do you set your pathway for games? So, if you set your pathway to games, you should already know that if you have it on external, 
you want to get a, an explorer. I got CX files. I used to use ES file explorer, but for some reason they took it down from the, the Play Store. So file explorer is an important thing to have on your XD Plus simply because of the fact that it's like Windows Explorer on Windows 10 or 7 or 8. It allows you to see where your files are on this thing. So here, like I said, the games you want to put on your SD card. So here you go to SD card and here's your file explorer for the XD Plus uh, on the SD card. I use the 120 gigabyte ROM. I set it up in a folder called ROMs and then I go down to NES and boom. No, that's NDS. Sorry about that. Uh, NES ROMs. Here we go. That's where it's located. So you got to remember where you're putting these things. It's just like Windows Explorer. You go SD card. Okay, I set up a folder on the SD card. Main pathway, ROMs, I call it ROMs. I go down, I have it easily sorted, and then I go to NES. So you got to remember, SD card, then your file folder that you created, mine on mine is called ROMs, and then SD, and then NES ROMs, and this is where all the ROMs are that I've downloaded and have available for my system. I'm not gung ho, I'm not Peter Pan where I got to play every freaking game known to man and have every game available on my unit. I like to have the ones that I've already played. It's not that illegal backups of games I own or have already played. So that's why I only have a select few. Are these the ones that I like, etc. So that's the pathway. Now, you go back in and you go to NES. Look, storage. Root file system. So if, I'm, if, if I start clicking these... Root file system. I go here and I get lost. I push an incorrect thing. I did it by accident. I pushed the wrong uh, area of the menu on the, on the XD Plus on screen, touch screen. You know, like, bro, where am I going? I'm lost. How do I get back? Always, 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 always touch the, the gray bar. Root file system. Oh, man, I went into this messed up uh, area of the thing. I don't know how to get back. Always touch this, this takes you back one. Storage devices. This is the name of the SD card, 017D slash 1819. Okay, I'm back on my SD card. I remember I put it in ROMs, and then I put it in NES ROMs. Boom. That's all you got to do, then all your games are listed. It's that simple. All you got to do is just touch screen, and you're golden. Now, I have Robo Broglie emulators. So they're very similar in how to set these things up. These are the emulators I, I, rec I don't know, I about to start. This is some Spanish ROM of Castlevania I got. It doesn't really matter. I speak both languages, so whatever. So I got the European ROM of Castlevania. Sue me. Anyways. Now let's go to another Robert Broglie emulator. Super NES 90X EX Plus. Another one by Robert Broglie is all the dot emus are Robert Broglie. Drastic is a whole nother beast. That's by, uh, who developed Drastic? Exophase. Yeah, but Drastic is the best Nintendo DS emulator you want to have. 3DS, not possible yet on Android for for the XD Plus. One day by Citra, but it doesn't work yet. So let's go to Super NES 98X Plus. Again, it's all Robert Broglie. They're all set up the same way. You're going to see the same kind of menu system, so it's easy to remember how to navigate. Load game. Now, my game's already there. Because I already know where to find them. How do I find them? Where did I put them? Oh, remember. Oh, yeah. I go to storage. Storage media? No, that's not it. Oh, my God. How do I get back? How do I get back? Gray menu bar. There it is. I'm under ROMs. Now I got to switch it to Super NES ROMs and boom. There you go. Let's start with the uh, Chrono Trigger. There you go. You're golden. It's that simple. You want to get out? Go to the home screen on your XD Plus on the, on the home screen button, or push the back button once or twice. I want to clear, I want to empty this all from the, from the RAM of this device being used. Boom. Done. Toast. Mapper function. Like I said, you don't got to use this mapper function unless you're running Dolphin, pretty much. If you have clean ROM, you're golden. PS3 or Xbox mode. Done. It's all linked to how... So these buttons on the, on the device itself. You don't got to use a mapper. Again, I only use a mapper because I need to for Dolphin. Who else, what else do you want to see out here? Robert Broglie, GBC. Look, menu the same. Boom. 
Tetris, Link's Awakening, Oracle of Ages, boom. Let's go back. One last one by Robert Broglia, GBA, boom. Load, wait till it loads. I don't think I started this one yet. Yeah, I haven't started this one yet. Okay, load game. Media, storage devices, emulated, ROMs, GBA, boom. Advanced Wars, Tactics, Golden Sun, Mega Man and Bass, Fusion, Tactics Over. Let's start Tactics Over. Boom, there you go. 10 minute mark, I'm out of you. Bye bye now.